In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix the application was unable to start correctly error on your Windows PC. This issue is pretty easy to solve, and I'll walk you through it step dash by dash step. Start by opening the start menu and typing control panel in the search bar. Click on the control panel from the search results. Once you're in the control panel, make sure view by is set to category. Then go to programs and click on turn windows features on or off. In the new window, ensure that both of the top options related to .NET framework are checked. If they're already selected, you can close the window. If either one is unchecked, make sure you check both boxes before continuing. Click OK to apply the changes. You might get a prompt asking if you want Windows to update the necessary files automatically. Choose the option that lets Windows handle the updates, and then wait a few minutes while the updates are installed. Once that's done, check if the error has been fixed. If not, we can try the next solution. Go to your program files folder and open the C drive. Scroll down to find the Windows folder and open it. Then locate the System32 folder and enter it. Inside the System32 folder, search for the file xinput1-3.dll near the bottom. Right-click the file and select Delete to remove it. Next, go back one folder by clicking the back arrow at the top. Then scroll down to find and open the C, Windows, Syswo 6 for folder. Again, Find the xinput1-3.dll file at the bottom and delete it. Once you've deleted both files, close the window and open your web browser. Search for download directs in your browser and click on the official Microsoft website link. Scroll down and click on the download button for directs. Once it's downloaded, double-click the setup file dxwebsetup.exe and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Make sure to uncheck any unnecessary options, like the Bing bar, before continuing with the installation. Once it's finished, click Finish. Finally, open the Start menu again and search for Settings in the Settings window. Scroll down and click on Windows Update. Click Check for updates to make sure you're running the latest version of Windows. If there are any updates available, install them. After following these steps, the error should be fixed. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more helpful guides.